All right, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I wanna to talk about how to set up the controls for the arms and legs. Okay, not the joints. I'm talking about the controllers to make this inverse movement or sometimes it's called inverse kinematics, meaning that if I move the heel, the leg will respond accordingly. Okay, I'm gonna create some knee aims and some elbow aims and set up the IK controllers. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the body and I'm also gonna delete half of the body. So I'm just gonna select it in edit mode, hit delete and go like that. The reason I did that is so that I can just work on one side and then I'm gonna remirror it later. So not a big deal, just kind of saving some time, working smarter, not harder. So now if I look from the side, I'm gonna select the knee joint, press E for extrude and press Y to bring that out like that. I'm gonna go here, press E, Y, okay, out like that. Now, I've got some additional bones here. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna call this knee underscore aim underscore L. And then I'm gonna call this heel IK underscore L, okay? Now, on this one, I'm gonna go here. If I open up relations, I can see that it's parented to the knee. I'm just gonna undo that. And now I can move it, oh, if I click on it, click off, and then click back on, you can see I can move it out, and it's no longer connected to the knee. Here, I can also delete that one as well. So now, um, don't think of these as necessarily joints. Think of these as uh, controllers. I'm also going to uncheck deform on both of them because I don't want it to de like deform the skin. I only want it to be used for controllers. Now, I might be saying, well, Dave, why are you using joints as controllers instead of like nulls or locators or something like that? Well, you'll see once we start setting up the controls why I'm choosing to use joints here. So let's go ahead and kind of get um, started here. So I feel like if I um, select the um, shin bone, okay, so I can see that this is called ankle L. Okay, and that's gonna be important that I have to kind of remember that. But I'm gonna just switch to pose mode. And when I'm in pose mode, I'm gonna go to this ankle L. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna say add a constraint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add what's called inverse kinematics. And I can see that when I do that, this dotted line goes to the center, okay? Now, here's the controls for the inverse kinematics. And when I set the chain length to two, or when I set it to one, I can see it goes from there to there. When I set it to do, it goes from here to there. And that's exactly what I want. I want it to skip the knee and go like that. And when it moves, we'll see why I want to go there. So that chain length should always be set to two, okay? Now for the target, I want that set to armature. Think of that, that's our character. The bone, I want this to be set to the ankle. Actually, no, I want this to be set to this heel IK right here, because that's gonna be my controller right there, okay? Now, let's see what we just did. So if I set this back, or I'm in pose mode, so if I come here and if I move it, I can see that, yes, that looks like a really nice uh, movement here. And I can see it looks like, um, you can see how it's moving the knee. And it looks like it's pivoting kind of, or not pivoting, but uh, ending at that point rather than going right there. So that's right. You'll notice that the foot kind of moves a little weird here. And I don't have control. Uh, this is currently doing nothing, okay? So I want this to be my aim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue this process by clicking on the shin bone pull target, again, armature, and then bone, that's gonna be the knee, so just scroll down, knee aim, there we go. Now that's that thing right there. So what did that do? Well now if I pull this up, go like this, hey great, our guy can start to do the chicken dance, right? So I feel like um, I can see what's happening, but I still want a little bit more control on this. So I'm gonna kind of, um, again, and I'm talking about with a foot, so with the foot, what I need to do is I need to switch back to edit mode. I'm gonna select this, shift select this, and then I'm gonna parent it. So I'm gonna to go to um, Alt P, whoop, or I'm sorry, Control P, and then I'm gonna say keep offset, okay? Now when, I did, now when I do that, if I go back to pose mode, you can see what happens, that now my foot doesn't kind of roll down, it, my foot stays there. And also when I rotate, I can see that I've got good control of my foot. 
but you'll notice that if I pull this down too far, the foot comes disconnected. So I wanna keep that connected even if my controller goes a little out of hand. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to select, again, this, um, So in post mode, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna add a constraint. So I wanna make sure that I'm in my bone constraint. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose copy location. Now I'm gonna say target armature. Bone is gonna be this ankle L. There it is. So that's this one here. And I'm just gonna say offset that by one and it's gonna go back to the correct spot. Okay, cool. So now what does that mean? Well, if I'm in pose mode, I can come here. Great, I've got that. I've got that. If this rotates, I've got that. But if I pull this down too far, I can see that this does not come disconnected. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of undo all that, get that back to normal position. Okay, excellent. Yep, that looks good. And um, now we're ready to go ahead and do the arm. So it's gonna be a very similar process. And um, so for the arm, maybe I want, um, if I press seven on the number pad, I just wanna make sure that that is set up. So if I go to edit mode, I wanna make sure that there's a slight bend in the arm. Okay, there we go, that looks good. Um, and now I can, again, press seven on the number pad. I'm gonna press E for extrude, Y, so to get that coming straight out like that. Excellent. Now maybe this one. E, Y, excellent, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure to disconnect both of those as well. So if I take this one in the bone settings, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that and also check to form. I also wanna do the same on this one. I don't want it to be parented, there we go. Now these are gonna, uh, obviously gonna be controllers again. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of um, move that out so I'm gonna kind of pull this back here like that, and I'm gonna call this elbow underscore aim underscore L. And then I'm gonna call this wrist IK underscore L. And again, that underscore L is important for when we mirror it, okay? So now um, it's gonna be a very similar process to what we did on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to pose mode. And if I select this joint here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go back to my constraints, add inverse kinematics. And again, you can see that that went from here to here, but as you may have guessed, we just wanted to skip the elbow and go right to the shoulder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. I'm gonna go to armature, bone, shoulder. Whoa, that's not what I want. Undo. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. I want the chain length to be two. There we go. So now I can see it's going from there to there. That's exactly what I want. And I want now the target to be armature and the bone to be this one here, which is wrist IK. So if I come here, again, I'm just using my middle mouse to wheel down. There it is, wrist IK. Now that's gonna be the controller for that. If I want the aim or the pull target, I'm gonna go here, armature bone, and that's gonna be elbow, aim, excellent. Um, and if it screwed it up, I'm gonna go ahead and go pole angle, maybe 90. Okay, I'm gonna try these different ones, 90, 270. Uh, let's see. 180, uh, 90. Let's try negative 90. There we go. Yep, that looks right. So I feel like you might have to kind of play with the uh, pole angle. But now, again, if I'm in pose mode, I can grab this and I can move that. And then if I move this one, that's the aim. Yes, that's correct. Okay, excellent. So now we're there. So now what I can do, you can see that I have all of these named. If I come here, I can see, I just want to double check that I have the L's on them for the left. Now I can select this whole thing and if I go um, to po, oh, let me see, edit mode, armature, symmetrize, I can go like that. And now if I move this, 
Well, and I need to be in pose mode. Yep. Yep, that looks good. I'm gonna undo. Yeah, that looks good. Sometimes with the arm, you might have to um, change the, again, you know, change the rotation uh, like we talked about. But another thing that I can do too is uh, if I come back here, you can see that our right or it's staying blue on the side and um, I want that to be red and blue. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and select um, in post mode, I'm gonna select all that. I'm gonna add that to this side. Select these as well and assign that. And I could even do this. I could maybe grab all of these and I could go to, you know, maybe call this controllers. And maybe assign that to a different color. Now it, it probably makes more sense to have, you know, kind of the red controllers and the blue controllers, but I feel like, I mean, you can set that up however you want. I could also do this. I could select these controllers and I could move them to a new layer. So I just press M and now I can move them maybe over here and I know that these are my controllers. So if I clicked on that, you can see that I can only see the controllers. Um, and again, if I hold down shift, I can turn um, you know things back on. And this one. And it looks like I, if I wanted to add the, um, you know, the legs, I could select that, and then I could press M, and I could say I want those to be there. And then if I go to this one, and in my creating skeletons for Blender, um, it's going to also kind of show that as well. So now you can kind of start to see that I've got control on all of that. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, setting up these controllers for our character these IK controllers for both the legs and the arms. So if you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, have a good day.